And we've been reporting school closures almost daily the last couple of weeks in reality as districts struggle to keep enough teachers in the classrooms. Larger districts obviously have more resources, but as our Robbie Owens reports now, there's more involved in keeping the school's doors open. As COVID forces educators to adapt to an always evolving pandemic. Our best uh, intention is to provide in-person instruction as we know that's what our students need. The end goal has remained the same, keeping students safely in the classroom. Now we're in an urgent crisis that despite whatever authority the governor has, he, he's responsible for the state of Texas. I'm responsible for Dallas ISD. Dallas ISD's Superintendent Michael Hinojosa this fall, even defying the governor to mandate masks. It's a good idea to require masks so our kids are healthy. And, and now as Omicron surges, district leaders say that pandemic persistence and following safety protocols paying off. We've kept our mask protocol in place and quite simply that really has helped. And it's one of the strongest reasons that we believe why we're able to keep our doors open right now. You all have, even prior to COVID, experience in managing large numbers of staff absences just because you are so big. So the good thing is we are prepared, we have a plan in place, and we have already been using some of those strategies within our tool belt. Dallas ISD also providing on-campus testing to quickly identify those who are ill, while urging common sense precautions to stay well. You know, make sure that you are maintaining great hygiene, washing your hands. Those simple things that we heard early on in the pandemic still hold true today. And it's, you know, one of those things that we're all gonna have to watch and continue to do our part in order to make sure that we can have a safe and healthy space for, for, for children and students to operate in. Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News.